operating the Caterpillar forklift and FIU theater department. Scene shop. You want to make sure you are buckled into the forklift. There are three controls to control the fork. So one is the up and down motion of the fork, which is the lever closest to the operator. The second control is a tilt. Whenever lifting any items, not only do you want to lift up, but you also want to have a backward tilt so things do not fall. The third control is going to be able to adjust left and right the forks. So if I need to shift over materials either to the left or to the right, I can with the third level. I would always honk the horn when getting ready to move any items for safety. And you should not operate the forklift unless you've had the 40-hour training in order to operate the forklift. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel is a control for moving forward and moving back. This is a propane fueled forklift. And this is a demonstration of the three levers out in front of the camera. So we have up and down. Tilt to safely can control the material. And shift to the right and to the left. Operating the two-man Genie Lift and FIU Theater's scene shop and theater spaces. Once you are on the lift, make sure you close the chain on the back to safely protect you from walking backwards and falling off the platform. The platform does have an extension, so you can extend the platform out to reach items that you have to reach over a height. Only one person should be on the platform at a time. Whenever moving the lift or going up and down on the lift, you need to make a call. So if you're moving forward on the lift, you need to say lift moving forward to notify everyone in the space where you're moving. Lift going up to notify people that you will be working above their heads. As well as lift coming in to notify anyone below that there is machinery moving above the head. So always call in lift moving, lift going up, and lift coming in to notify everyone in the space. Genie controls. So there's a safety switch here. You push that down, it kills the power to the genie. There's a key down below to turn the genie on. We usually leave the key in and it turned on with the power kill shut off right here. To turn on the power of the genie, we'll pull the plug, the, the power stop. And then we have two buttons here one that has a forward motion and back motion for driving and a button here for the scissor lift going up and going down. In the driving mode, we also have a trigger on top. This joystick trigger will allow us to hold the joystick and turn the wheels with your thumb at the top of the joystick. In order to move forward and back, we will hold the joystick with our grip and push forward to go forward and then pull backwards to go backwards. Whenever moving the genie, because it's a large piece of machinery, we want to say genie moving, either genie moving forward or genie moving back. That way everyone around us knows that 
there is a piece of equipment moving. If we need to go up or down, I will change to the scissor lift button. I will still use the joystick control now. So to go up, I'm going to push forward, holding the joystick, going up, and then to come back down, make a call, genie coming in or genie coming down, I'm going to hold the joystick again and pull back to come back down. If we're coming around a corner, driving, and not everyone has been in the room as you made the call of Dream Genie moving, we can use the horn button right here, which will ring a bell and let us know that things are moving. Another thing to take notice of is the battery level. So you want to have more than three dots of battery to be using the Genie. You don't want to run out of power. When I'm finished using the Genie, I'll go ahead and use the emergency stop again to shut off all power and save the battery.